This video provides a brief overview of the DefibTech Lifeline DDU100 Automatic External Defibrillator. It is important to recognize that this video provides only a brief overview of the DefibTech Lifeline AED. Users must thoroughly familiarize themselves with the deployment, operation, and maintenance of the Lifeline AED by reviewing the user's manual and receiving appropriate AED training before using the device. The Lifeline AED should only be used on sudden cardiac arrest victims who are unconscious and unresponsive and not breathing. Call for help. Apply pads to patient's bare chest as shown. Apply pads. The Lifeline AED is designed to be so simple to Apply use that virtually pads. anyone can save a life. Apply pads. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Charging. Stand clear. Press flashing shock button. Shock one delivered. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR now. Make sure to obtain comprehensive AED training to learn all of the steps involved in saving a cardiac arrest victim. Let's review the basic steps involved in actually using the Lifeline AED. Once you've determined that the victim needs treatment, start by turning the Lifeline AED on. To turn the unit on, simply press the on-off button. Call for help. Remove pads from package in back of unit. Apply pads to patient's bare chest as shown. The Lifeline AED should have been stored with the pads already pre-connected and in the pad storage pouch on the back of the unit. Remove the pad package by pulling on the tab on the pouch. If the pads are not already pre-connected to the unit, connect them by inserting the pad connector into the top left corner of the AED. Remove the pads from the package by tearing along the dotted line. Follow the instructions printed on the package. Make sure the victim's chest is exposed and dry. If needed, shave the victim's chest hair. Place the pads on the victim's chest according to the diagrams on the pads. Apply pads. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. The Lifeline AED will automatically check the pad connection to the victim and will begin to analyze the victim's heart rhythm. If the AED determines that the victim requires a shock, the unit will automatically charge and will prepare to deliver a shock. During this time, do not touch the victim. Shock advised. Charging. Stand clear. If a shock is required, once the AED has fully charged, the shock button will flash and the AED will instruct you to press the shock button. Press the shock button to deliver a shock. Press flashing shock button. Shock one delivered. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR now. No shock advised. The Lifeline AED will not shock a victim that does not require a shock. Four pad contact to patient. Press pads firmly. The unit automatically checks the connection of the pads to the victim and lets you know if the connection is bad. Make sure the pads are properly attached to the victim and not touching each other. If needed, reposition the pads and dry or shave the victim's chest. Stop motion. The unit will not analyze the victim's heart rhythm if it detects the victim is being moved. Stop motion and do not touch the victim if so instructed. For a complete discussion about the Lifeline AED, its voice prompts, and other related information, please carefully review the user's manual. The critical components of the Lifeline AED system are the Lifeline AED, a lithium battery pack, a 9-volt battery, a pad package, a user's manual, and optionally, a data card. The Lifeline AED is powered by a long-life replaceable lithium battery pack. Insert the battery pack into the Lifeline AED by pushing it into the battery compartment, label side up, and 
until it clicks into place. If the battery pack is inserted upside down, a stop will prevent it from going in all the way. If a 9 volt battery is installed in the battery pack, when the battery pack is inserted, the Lifeline AED will automatically run a self-test to confirm that the battery pack is ready to perform a rescue. Performing battery pack self-test. Battery pack OK. Remove the battery pack by pressing the battery eject button until the battery pack is partially ejected. The battery pack may then be completely removed by pulling it out. Always store the AED with the battery pack installed. If you have a spare battery pack, check its install by date, which is printed on the label. The battery pack should be installed into an AED before that date. After the battery pack is installed in a unit, the AED will monitor the condition of the battery and inform you when the pack should be replaced. The active status indicator, also known as the ASI, is located in the upper right corner of the AED and flashes periodically to indicate the status of the lifeline. A flashing green ASI indicates the lifeline is ready to perform a rescue. A flashing red ASI, or no ASI at all, indicates that the device may not be ready to perform a rescue and may need additional attention. The ASI is powered by a 9-volt battery located in the battery pack. To access the 9-volt battery, remove the 9-volt battery door by pushing on it sideways. Remove the 9-volt battery by gently tapping the battery pack. Insert a new 9-volt battery so that the contacts on the battery touch the contacts in the 9-volt battery compartment. Replace the 9-volt battery door by placing it in the almost closed position and pushing it closed. The defibrillation pads are sealed in a single-use package. The package has quick-use instructions on how to use the pads. Do not open the package until the pads are required for use. The pads are connected to the Lifeline AED using the pad connector. To connect the pads to the AED, insert the connector into the slot in the upper corner of the unit. Note that the connector is designed to only go in in one direction. Once connected, the pad package should be stored in the holder in the back of the unit. The pad should be stored so that the pad expiration date can easily be seen. Pads past their expiration date should be replaced as soon as possible. The pad cable should be pressed into the slot in the back of the AED. The optional data card is used to store extended amounts of ECG data and, optionally, audio data for later review. Note that the Lifeline will store critical ECG data internally, even if no data card is installed. To install the data card, first remove the battery pack. Install the data card in the slot located within the battery compartment. Insert the card, label side up, angle corner end first, into the slot. Push in the data card until it clicks into place. When properly inserted, the data card will be flush with the end of the slot. To remove the data card, push the card in until you feel it click. The card will be partially ejected out of the slot and may then be removed. When a 9-volt battery is installed in the battery pack, the AED will automatically run self-tests on a regular basis. However, there may be times when the user will want to run manually initiated self-tests. To run a manually initiated extended self-test, begin with the unit off and press and hold the on-off button for five seconds until the unit announces that it has entered the self-test mode. Performing unit self-test. The unit will run a complete extended self-test, report its status, and automatically turn off. Be aware that running a manual self-test uses one shock's worth of energy from the battery pack. Unit OK. The Lifeline AED should be kept with the battery pack inserted and the pads connected and stored in the pad holder. The unit should be kept in a readily accessible location with the active status indicator visible. This video presents only a quick overview of the Lifeline AED. You should refer to the user's manual for more detailed information about the unit. You should also get comprehensive AED training before attempting to use the Lifeline AED. With sophisticated medical technology this simple to use, now anyone can save a life.